to the Shadow Skies, my name is Phantom, and today we are jumping back into L.A. Noir, and we are going to be heading to Leland Monroe's mansion, as we ended off last time with him giving us a phone call, um, that he wants to meet with us, because I guess he's gonna try to, like, bribe us, I guess, is the best way to, way to use, um, from continuing to investigate the investigation that we're doing. Um, so we're gonna be heading there and continuing the polite invitation case today. Um, it's currently 7 p.m. outside his apartment, and I'm curious to see, um, what offer is gonna be on the table here. Um, from him. So I need to get in the blue car. And we're gonna go ahead and skip destination because it just speeds things up for us. Um, to get to Monroe's apartment. I'm curious to see his offer. His offer is gonna be, you know, I don't think Kelso's gonna take it. Um, knowing how interested he is in what he's discovered thus far. Um. <laughs> Alright, Monroe's mansion at 11 p.m. And I don't know who these people are. <laughs> what is going on? I Hi. All of you. We can reminisce later. Yeah. A minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners. This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for. Oh, that's the bus driver guy. We all feel the same way. Just haven't turned out quite the way we imagined. So do we go in guns Let's blazing or do we not? Teams of two at the ready. Like I don't understand what we're supposed to be doing. I guess it'll tell me when I get in here. Okay, never mind. Oh, we're loud now. I'm gonna have to keep all these guys alive, though. That's one of my allies. Sure, we'll pick up a weapon. Hmm. The shotgun shells do not reach that far. Well, we've made all the noise that we really can now. <laughs> Boom. Let's check out the backline guy first. <laughs> there we go. Oh god, they're right behind me, hello. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> Where's this last one? Oh, he's right there. Good stuff, y'all. We're doing good. How many allies do we have left? I don't know. We're just gonna go in guns blazing, I guess, from here on out. Did we lose somebody? God, he takes like 50 billion shots before he dies. All right, man, hold the perimeter. All right, here we go. I got personal business with Mr. Leland Monroe. Who died? We've only got two here. We're gonna bring a Tommy gun in too, just in case. Let's go. <laughs> oh, this is a bar. What do I'm talking about? <laughs> there you go. He's dead. I just use a bar for everything, except when I gotta reload. There we go. I don't need to take cover. We'll just keep pushing through here. Yep, you don't say a word. Really? You're a very sweet looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, Princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, Princess. How about putting the cannon down? Ah! <sighs> <sighs> she used, uh, used, after you just shot at me. I didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading women. 
Did that hit you or did that graze you? Damn it. Probably in here on the gold handle door. Did she miss my arm? Because he's still. Oh god, hi, buddy. Keep on going, Jack. Give me the new gun. Oh! Hmm. Can I take cover here? Cool, we can. You're my next target, bud. Peek out again. Mm. There we go. <laughs> I don't need that. <laughs> Who needs that? <laughs> See, I don't like hearing guns that I don't know where they're coming from. the bathroom oh Jack Kelso. that's my opening negotiating position <laughs> oh son of a bitch how did you get in here shot every last one of your people I thought I had an invitation Monroe your boys outside were certainly expecting me Second offer, you sadistic bastard! <laughs> what do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. Well, I'm sure we'll find a lot of information here. Is this the table meeting? Yep. This is urban redevelopment fund. That's a picture that incriminates right there. Power, Monroe. What do we got, Monroe? What's behind the desk? What are you looking at? I can't check anything there. But I can check this folder here. Oh! Some sold up. The others obviously didn't know the links of these sons of bitches. Yeah, Stefan's, I recognize that one. What else am I looking at here? Oh, this, I already looked at that. Alright, what's in the safe, bud? Oh, here we go. Shareholder? I'm guessing Vincent's yep, shares. was only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. Yep. What do we got here? The book? Is this the book with all the stuff in it? That's a hell of a payroll. I don't even know what any of that means. Holy cow. What do we got up top here? Property Department of Police? Oh, what is this? Oh, it's an investigation on Fontaine. Smart. Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. Oh, yeah. Monroe is really behind all of this, even though he tries to hide it all. Too much money at stake. Kingdom's money isn't everything. Kingdom's fall, I mean, let's be real. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <laughs> Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? Fontaine. Dead? What the heck? So that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating. Well, just send them down here. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He, he did whatever Fontaine asked. He, he had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and then he went off the roll. rails. I don't have a fucking name. He walked into Bugs Prayer. Get me a goddamn doctor.
We're not getting him a doctor, I guess. Give me a goddamn doctor! <laughs> we didn't get him a doctor. Long story short, we didn't get him a doctor. Um, okay. Well. Okay, well, that's the end of that case. The old-fashioned way it has been dismantled. Was there a different way to do that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have the darndest idea. But there we go. So now what are we doing? Are we back to Phelps or... Nicholson Electroplating. Okay. What we got going on here? Hey, news from Jack. There's a statewide APB out on Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. So how do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. So now we gotta go after Fontaine. Yeah. Guys. But the whole department breathing down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's crossed the Rubicon and we have to be on the other this side. This is true. Christ, what was that? Explosion. Uh, what? I think it's the Reds? You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can give us the details on the way. I guess we got our gas already. Look, everybody move out the way. We're in a hurry. Everybody's driving rampant. Avdothic. Oh my lord, what the heck happened here? We have looters around the corner. Cut them or put them down. We need to get this area under control. Why? <laughs> I'll shoot him from a mile away, I don't care. Boom, subdued. The commander will want us to see. Let's go. The heck happened? I mean it's like the whole downtown area. I never seen nothing like this. You're not kidding. What the, the heck happened? It's like a bomb's gone off. Jesus Christ. This whole place of downtown will be shut down for a while. I mean look at this like four buildings here. And another one? Are you serious? Get delayed somewhere? Well, we had to take down looters. What in God's name happened here? Oh my goodness. If it was, we'd all be dead from the radiation. That's reassuring. What's radiation? Everyone inside the factory was vaporized. Look at the size of that crater. Oh, it was a factory explosion. Things. Anything to go up? As I say. Remains of Nicholson electroplating. I have an idea of what might have caused the explosion. Well, fill us in, please. Have a look around the rubble, see if you come up with anything. Alright. Well, if the factory is here. Then it's time for us That's to do it, our Mr. jobs. Mayor. We're wrapped. We're gonna have to look around here. Oh God! That person got crushed. Hey, detective! I think I got something here. What are we looking at? Any idea what this is? Very large egg cup, a Viking helmet. P and W Ross Major. An airplane part, maybe. Okay. So that's one thing. That's a shoe. That's not going to help us. Um. Oh. Fundamentals of surface finishing. I don't think that's going to help us a whole lot either. But let's find... Oh, excuse me, Biggs. Let's find some other things around here. I guess I have to go to a phone eventually, but we're not done with this area yet, so I'm not going to go to the phones yet. 
What is this? I doubt it. Oh, that's nothing. It looked like a possible piece of machinery that's fallen off or something. Let's go over here. Yeah, here we go. Phelps. I think I found something over here. I was gonna let you do all the work. Blew the locker open, but shielded the contents. Let's see what we've got in here. What is this? Detective, you seen this yet? Come take a look. Hold on, I'm looking at something else. Oh, only OSS agents use these things. Oh, that's a spy camera. To see if there's an espionage angle. Okay, what else do we got in here? What is it? Undeciphered it's message. Undeciphered. Yeah. The Germans used them in the war. These are cipher rings. You know what to do with them? Maybe. I have no Maybe idea. Yes. H equals K133. The rest of the message should align itself. So I need H equals K. And then I need to put K with this one. Rotate out a wheel for the first letter of the cipher. K. N. V. N. V. B. N. V. I'm on O. Um, we'll just do it this way. <laughs> O J L K North Vermont It's gonna be North Vermont something X S B Ac Avenue S We'll go this way One thirty three North Vermont Avenue Okay. What is this? Tomoko. He said research assistant. And then the last thing we didn't check was this item. Maybe yeah, that. Any ideas, Herschel? Looks like an earring. None that I care to order for public consumption. Yeah, that looks like an earring of some sort. Oh, we're just gonna hold on to that. All right. We've still got stuff to find. So we checked over here. We checked on the others. So what else do we still need to look at? Not too sure what else we're missing to look at here. I guess we can go behind. Back here somewhere, I guess. If I can even get back here, I don't even know. Oh, I can. Do you got something for us? No, you don't have anything for us. What else are we looking for? I'm trying to see if there's anything else around here. But I'm not seeing anything else that hints at... Stuff that we're looking for. Biggs, do you have something? Maybe Biggs has something, because he's just standing here. Hold up. I'm coming, Biggs. Oh, yeah, you do have something. What does that say? Sup Superior laundry. Alright, that's everything. Okay. Well, let's go out of here. At least the air seems to have cleared out a bit. Do you have anything for us? No, I can't even talk to you. Okay. And I guess I can't talk to you either. Oh, here we go. We've got the fire department coming through here. Yeah, the air seems to have cleared out. Who is this? I'm Fred Nicholson. This is oh, you must be the owner. What's left of it? Yeah. Jeez, man. 32 years of work up in smoke. Yeah, you ain't kidding. All right, well, let's talk about this. Can you tell us what happened here? Our uh, chief chemist, Harold McClellan, was using this area to test the, the new process. And what exactly is this new I was going to say, yeah. Uh, that's uh, classified information, son. Well, I kind of need the 
I kind of need that so I can figure out what. A lot of people died here, Mr. Nicholson. I'm prepared to go to the press and tell them it was your fault. What is the new process? A way to chemically polish aluminum. It's yeah, that's better. You tell to tell us. And after many tons of people just lost their lives because of this. The process could be worth millions. All right, we're about to open it. Dr. McClellan's personal assistant. She came highly recommended. Okay. Wait, there's something you're not telling us because you're looking all over the place. So you hire a chemical whiz kid and his assistant without checking either one of them out. Hindsight is a great thing, detective. And I should have looked more closely at their references. Well, I don't think I was good copying, so what would I accuse you of? You tell us about McClellan. A brilliant chemist. He approached me a few months ago mm. with the idea for the new process. So no one has ever done this before? No, but it is legitimate research. Mm, you have a lot of facial... I don't know. Intuition this, because I don't know. Bad cop again. All right. You thought McClellan could do what no one else could do. You were prepared to take that risk. Look, he is a... was a trained chemist, and his ideas could revolutionize electroplating. Mm. And you would be rich. I'm a businessman. What's wrong with turning a buck? Well, you, it just, the you safety of your... Months. yeah. God knows how many people are dead. Yeah, I mean. That's laudable. We'll be in touch, Mr. Nicholson. Can you send us Dr. McClellan and Miss Akamoto's Yeah, we don't know anything. We didn't get anything about Akamoto out of that. I can find them. By the way, we also found the collar of a shirt. Yeah, the laundry tag shirt. Likely to be Dr. McClellan. And the majority of people who work here don't use a laundry service. All right. Well, I guess that'll work. Anyway, that's going to do it for this time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, we'll pick up here and start putting things together. What caused this explosion? I mean, it reached this entire block and then some um, of rumble with this factory explosion. Um, this could have been to use to throw us off suburban redevelopment because now we got to investigate this instead of doing stuff with suburban. Um, so thank you all for watching. If you guys like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. And until next time, guys, have a great day, and I will see you all in the next episode.